But go back to the Social Security program. In, the first thing to be said is that all this nonsense about saving something for Social Security is, is pure fiction. We do not, it's wrong to think that what people are paying into Social Security by what people are paying in the form of wage taxes is what they're paying for their own security. That's there nonsense. is no relationship whatsoever. We have a system under which you have a set of taxes for Social Security, named for Social Security, but it doesn't matter. They're payroll taxes, terrible taxes, regressive taxes. Nobody, you could not get a legislature to vote such a tax on its own. Can you imagine proposing a tax that we're going to impose, a ten, let's say, 16% tax on all wages from the first dollar up to, the, up to a maximum and nothing beyond that? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine voting that? S Similarly, mm -hmm. we have, the other side of the picture is that we have made a series of commitments to people like me. And, uh, I receive Social Security payments. Oh, so it's my payroll tax that goes to you. Absolutely, now. absolutely. It's not only your payroll tax, it's your income tax, it's whatever taxes you pay. I get them. You know, and if you think you're going to get them, you're kidding yourself. It is a fundamental deceit hoisted upon the American people and sustained for low these six decades. Absolutely. If you read the Social Security brochures, they say this is a system under which you are putting aside money now for your retirement. And that's not That is utterly fake. But let's suppose it were true. All right. For a moment. Why is it why is it that it's appropriate for government to come and tell me what fraction of my income I should save for my old age? If if that's okay, why can't it come in and tell me exactly what fraction of my income I have to spend for food, what fraction for housing, what fraction for clothing? Let me show you the absurdity of this. All right. Consider a young man of 35 who has AIDS for whom the expected length of life is 10 years, or at the most, maybe. Maybe there'll be a cure. But his expected length of life is not very long. Is it really intelligent for him to put aside 15% of his income for, for retirement at his age 65? It's outrageous. It's outrageous. outrageous. Exactly. The only word you can give to it. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, the whole Social Security system is an outrage. If social